Hey, good morning, man. Hope you're doing all right. Oh, the fireplace is roaring. <laughs> I just started the fire. Look at that. Blazing flames. It's around five degrees Celsius. And if you're sitting still, that's pretty cold. But it's got like that wet, damp feeling to it. It looks a bit, uh, I don't want to use the word depression, but it kind of feels like a depressing morning. It's dark, a little rainy. It's not that great, if you know what I mean. But there is something that's really great. Yes, my great Pyrenees. Yes, you are. Every morning on recording day, I do these barbecue shuffles. It's like get the grill that I'm not gonna use and then roll it out there in the grill parking. And then I have to decide which grill to use today. And my plan of today is to use this old beauty. I built this myself two years ago in the factory of Napoleon. And that's kind of awesome. And that, and that really makes this grill special to me. So I thought today is like the day, it's dark. I, I kind of like want to treat myself by using this grill. And I got the perfect recipe to go with it. So I'm gonna be making some awesome porchetta. And almost every year I do a porchetta. This one's got a little bit of different twist to it. I think I must have over four porchetta recipes. And I hope this one today is gonna be my best one yet. Big boy out of here. And if you're wondering which one this is, this is the Prestige Pro version, the 500. This thing is an absolute beast. Indestructible. This thing is gonna be around long after I'm gone, for sure. Let's go. Let's take this out. I kind of forgot about how big this thing is. We have this all set up. And normally if you put a grill in that space, there's like you put it to the left or you put it to the right. But now this thing is such a monster. It just fills up the whole space. Morrison's gonna hate this for sure because he always wants like a beautiful light coming over the back of this grill. And of course he's right, but you know, this is my favorite. I, got, I wanna use it today. What's up guys, it's your favorite brisketeer. That's a pretty good name. That's a pretty good name. Yeah, but it's a bit... Um, it's prefabricated. Bit, bit much. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, but it's a bit much. It's a bit much. Um, <laughs> Sorry guys. I got a trick. Tell me. You see this? You know this, what this is. Yeah. This is olive oil in a spray can. For instance, what I use it for, when the grill grate's hot, just spray a little bit of it on. And then with a paper towel, just make your grill grate non-stick. But here comes the trick. You got all these expensive cleaning things for your grill. It doesn't work. Oh, well, it works, but it's not nothing special. So what do I do? I just clean it with a, a wet cloth, a damp cloth, clean it off, and then take a little bit of that olive oil, spray it onto the grill. And that way you get that beautiful shine on your stainless steel grill. Look at that. Now that is a good, beautiful, Nice clean look. Look, for instance, this whole piece, this whole board, you got all these weather stains. But with a little bit of olive oil, you get that beautiful stainless steel look again. And that's the reason is the stainless steel only needs a little bit of fat. So guys, you had your, your Napoleon salesman tooth for today. Uh, this is your salesman character. No, no, no. <laughs> this, is, no this is me telling people how to save money on cleaning. Stuff. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because this is way cheaper than the stuff that you clean your grill with. So this doesn't. This has nothing to do with Napoleon. No, no, no. In my case, but this is my favorite Napoleon grill. I built this myself, Martin. This is my baby. I made this in the factory. Basically, I use this solely for paqueta. This is a bit strange, but yeah. Okay. It's weird, but I get it out when we eat paqueta. Question for the people at home. What's your favorite porchetta grill at home? <laughs> Do you have a special grill for porchetta? I don't think uh, most people have that. No, no, no. But what, what, what's your number of grills? If there are people watching right now. What's your body count? What's your body count, yeah. I don't mean how many people did you kill. Mine is, mine is still one. 
Yeah, still one. Well, actually two, yeah. Two. Yeah, basically it's two, yeah. That's how, that's how it works. Secretly you get another one, and then secretly you get another one. Yeah. And that's how you end up with 40 grills. I have a pellet smoker sitting at someone's house for safekeeping. So yeah, basically I have two. I have a problem which I want to share with you guys. I can't see fully focused when I'm looking straight through my glasses. It's, it's really annoying. If I look to the left or to the right through my glasses, it's like perfectly sharp. Uh, when I'm looking straight straight ahead, it's unsharp. And it's so annoying because I'm a cameraman. Like my whole job is to be in focus. Is to be in focus. So I see these things and, and they annoy me. So basically you're telling me you're uh, not functioning properly. I'm not functioning properly. What are you doing? I'm uh, kind of butchering this chicken, but in a way that no one ever will. I'm going to butcher this chicken and only leaving the meat and taking the, out the whole carcass. It's a bit of an art. This morning I told the guys that, um, that you wouldn't be happy with the, the big grill in the background because of the light. And yeah. how big it was and it doesn't sit perfect and uh, blah blah blah. But surprisingly you were not really... We did not have the discussion I expected to have with you about it. Look at the weather behind me. It's cold. I don't care about, about a, a barbecue that's too big anymore. But no. No? It, it worked out quite well. All right, can I show them what's on the... Yeah, I think you should show them a, a, a in-between shot of the pochetta. Yeah? yeah? Do they even know it's gonna be pochetta? You just... I think yeah. so. Yeah, 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 I told them about why we use that grill. So this, this is a grill. Stainless steel, Napoleon, beautiful, it's hot as, as well. Just touched it, hurt. And uh, inside there's uh, this. It's a rolled up slab of meat. It's like a meat, what's it called? In a bakery you have these, these rolls, cinnamon rolls. It's like a meat, Italian meat cinnamon roll. Um, no, <sighs> it's not like that. More so, I really don't know if what I am doing is getting the chicken out of the bone or the bone out of the chicken. I'm oh. separating the meat from the bones, but I'm getting the chicken out and throwing the chicken away? Or am I getting the bones out and keeping the chicken? But we're getting there, half of the chicken is out. It looks like a super complicated process, but it's just working your knife along the bones. And the end result is gonna be amazing. Look at that guy, waiting, protecting the grill. This is what I do. I sit by the grill like it's my piano. You can't walk away from the grill if you're really truly in love with what you're doing. Yeah. Is this your old piano? Like or? the song. Yeah. From uh... Yeah, old piano. But you don't even show what is on. No, no, no. Can't, can't show you. We've got a YouTube channel for that. All right. All right. It's like my secret things. But you wanted me to show something. You, wa you wanted to show something. Show, show me. No, no, show them. But I don't know what you're going to show me. Yeah, but I'm scared to walk away from the grill. Okay, okay, so I'm you, gonna you check it out. Yeah, okay, okay. But I'm not really, I don't know where no, I'm looking you're for. I'm not an expert, but it's a toilet. Okay, I know what it is now, basically. I'm gonna be fine. I don't even know where the light is. I don't know where I'm looking for, man. This is the only light. So this is really, a horrible, horrible tour, because there is no light. What's he talking about? What's this? Oh! Whoa! This this looks like a real bathroom, huh? The toilet is functioning. I'm not sure. Well, there's water in. Can I flush it? Yes. Go ahead. Everything is working. You can, you can do it now. Yeah. Do your thing. Do your thing. My thing is like I, I'm I normally skip the whole toilet thing and I do, just go straight straight for for the shower. You do it in the shower. I do it in the shower. People want to see your face when you say things like that. 
so they can estimate if you're a serious <laughs> guy or like. <laughs> I'm really serious. We got we got the bathroom, which not you can't use it just yet. Don't turn on the water because then we got big problems because it's not get the, you just did yeah, yeah, put yeah. the silicone in. Yeah, only toilet for now. Only toilet for now. I need to make sure that it's. I have um, the same shower head. No, I have a different one. No, never mind. Wrong story. Wrong story. But this is the same. And also, this system is the same. The whole ventilation system. So Did yeah. you try the electric uh, tap? Oh. But this is really dangerous for me. Because you know what I always do? Now I'm gonna... Yeah, put your shit on it. Yeah. And you put your phone okay. on the... Yeah. Okay, this is me, like... This is me going to the toilet. I sit on the toilet. I'm bored, I'm bored already. Like instant, one second. You don't want to listen to your own... Uh... And, then, and then I have my phone, I have not with, with me right now, but then I put it right here. And, and then... And, and you have it also in your okay. home. Let me test it. You put your phone right here, and it goes off. And then it falls, you go, oh! And you fall. No, no, I, I put it already here. Do you put it there? Yeah, because, you, you know... You can put it there. Yeah, but you know, <laughs> I already did it. But in, your, in your sink, in the home. But because it's that same sink. Yeah. I'm not used to that, this technology. If you put it there, it's like it's gonna be instant regret. Yeah, but who but puts the phone in the sink? Yeah, but I don't know. No, it's no, no, automatic. No, like for me, it's like a safe a safe haven. It's not a as safe haven. As long as you don't tap the, uh, you don't put on the, the tap. It's a safe haven. No, I bet you. Right, everybody guys? watching this. Yeah. Thinks come it's come on, Martin. Seriously, tell me what you think. Is this like, uh, am I crazy? There are two rules. No, there are a lot of rules. Don't put it in the toilet. Don't put it in the sink. Don't put it in your back pocket because it's gonna drop into the sink. Just, just keep it in your pocket. Just leave, don't take it to the toilet. Just leave it out. Unless you know you're gonna go for really like, if you, yeah. if you had like the, the really strong peppers, you know you're gonna be there for at least half an hour. Then, of course, you're gonna take your phone and you're gonna watch Pit Master X. Because yeah. that's what you do. For the people that are not subscribed to our main channel, we are perfect for the toilet. Um, Morrison, it's done. We gotta go, buddy. All right, we just had amazing things. I'm not done yet. I'm not done yet. You even, you didn't finish your sandwich. I'm you didn't fed the dog. Hey, I Eva. fed the dog. I gave, her, I gave her half the paqueta. Look, she's not even coming over anymore. This stuff fills you up. Just talking in the video, if you haven't seen it, uh, go watch our main channel. Watch, for, watch out for the Porchetta video. We were talking about uh, all the future ideas that are stupid, but also, well, the future ideas we can't name, but also the past stupid ideas. I'm gonna go for... <coughs> um, yeah, now you're struggling. It's hard to come up with something stupid, right? I don't want to hurt your feelings. <laughs> you know you. I, no, I, I would say the Cheetos. <laughs> no. Yeah, the Cheetos. No. Seriously? Yeah, the te Cheetos was not a good idea. All right, turn the camera around. That's not even close. What about the time I injected the steak oh, with yeah. ketchup? Yeah, that was horrible. That was the, the worst one. Mm. I haven't deleted that video yet, but it's on my to-do list. Mm. I want to delete that video. Oh. Vega burgers. Oh yeah. Oh boy. Like the, the views, nobody wanted to see it. <laughs> the views were horrible, but also like there wasn't any recipe involved. It was just like, Try. Can, yeah, you just cook a patty, and a Vega patty on, and you put it on the burger with sauce and then you, you're done. That's it. Didn't I do more than that? Mm-mm-mm. Oh -mm. boy. But those were horrible. I got in trouble with the company that sold them. Mm -hmm. He said they didn't enjoy them. They didn't appreciate that I made that video. It's horrible. Hmm? I'll never go vegan. Not what? vegetarian, not but vegan, not nothing But seriously, like it doesn't matter, right? If you're not getting paid for it. Yeah, but you get angry people on the phone. Yeah, it's a small world. People know people. Chase by the Vega mob. There actually is a meat company that sells vegan products, which mm. I'm strongly against. If you have a, a meat company, don't start selling those vegan products. You're diluting. It's like from, like me making vegetarian recipes. Vegan company, 
Do whatever you want. If you're a meat company, do meat. What comes next? Yeah, horrible I'm videos. I'm gonna lay it down. No, horrible videos. One more. No, we had ketchup and we had the vegan. Oh, I remember with time. Do you remember the time we did the ostrich egg? <laughs> the ostrich egg. <laughs> that was horrible. That's. Let me tell you something about the ostrich. The ostrich egg. Even even thinking about it, it's I'm, I'm weird. gonna throw up. It's weird. Let me explain it. Come I'm on. already getting and sick now. See, Morrison is indisposed at the moment. The ostrich egg. It's not there's something. Not that there's something wrong with that egg. No. But the problem with ostrich eggs is that it's just. It's very. I I, I never understood it. Because if you see it in a picture, it's fine. It looks like an egg. But when you actually hold it and, you, and it flops out, it kind of like bloop, comes out. Like in reality, a, a normal egg is just like a tiny, cute egg. It's egg white, egg yellow. Yeah. And if you got like one of these small eggs from the, 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 the small animals that walk around. Yeah, yeah. Quartals. Yeah. Quartals. Quails. 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 That's the one. That's, yeah, that's okay. so cute. That's but, cute. But it's like they're so small, there can't be anything wrong with it. Well, no, I, no, nothing noticeable. It's probably, there's a way, there's so much going on probably within, but you you don't notice it because it's a tiny egg. Do you know that TV show where they got Robinson Crusoe Island thing? Yeah. Where they have yeah. to eat, sometimes they have to eat goat balls to survive, yeah. or I don't know. They, they have it like a challenge where they eat food, probably it's all around the world, so I'm not saying something crazy here. Um, like a, a spider, totally fine, I could yeah. eat that. An uh, eyeball, I could eat that, but what if they made me drink a whole raw ostrich egg? Oh, oh that would be awful. Uh, first of all, <laughs> you're gonna choke because it's like three liters or something. Yeah. Even more. And then you just. Do it like this, and then you're gonna choke. Yeah, yeah that's and almost like <laughs> it's like the new version of waterboarding. It's totally illegal. It should be illegal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the worst thing I can come up with right now. Oh man! Imagine being a terrorist, and you're like, uh, okay, they're, they're gonna ask you some questions. You're in a holding cell, and the guy comes in, CIA agent, holding an ostrich egg. Yeah, what? We're gonna ask you some questions. <laughs> yeah, you better answer the question. Answer the questions oh, right man. then and right there. Just don't don't go through the whole process. Oh man, horrible, horrible. So if you want to lose weight, watch, watch our vlog videos because we will make your appetite go away. And uh, so I'm gonna close off the vlog and I'm going to make uh, uh, not uh, not an ending. What? Yeah. I don't know what you're saying. No, I'm not. I don't know either. Okay. I'm drunken in love with my porqueta. Okay. Okay. Just close <laughs> off. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching and. See you next time. Why are we closing up? We never close up a lot. We just said okay. bye. Bye. bye.